What's up guys, this is Bobby Douglas and welcome to another 2020 NBA Draft Prospect full game video breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at Mississippi State forward Robert Woodard. Uh, Woodard just finished up his sophomore season at Mississippi State and this game I'm about to show you is from his freshman year, actually his last freshman game of uh, his career as he took on Liberty in a 2019 NCAA tournament. He scored 13 points and had 7 rebounds. So he actually had a pretty solid game for being a role player off the bench for Mississippi State his freshman season. Uh, this past season at Mississippi State, he really burst onto the scene, averaged around 11 points a game on 43% shooting from three. So scouts really love his 3 and D wing potential. And obviously his defense and his hustle is what got him on the floor in the first place. In the first place. So with that, I'm excited to get into this game and let's go right to it. So he's going to be number 12 in white. I'm going to circle him right here. And let's watch him play. And remember, he didn't start for Mississippi State his freshman season, all except for one game, I believe. So this is a pretty... Um, so he, he plays 26 minutes in this game, and he kind of just gets minutes on the floor just by hustling and rebounding. And so he is in at the end of the game and things like that. So something to keep in mind, he wasn't a traditional starter as a freshman. This season, though, however, he went into that starting role and he became a lot better of a player overall. And so here he is on the ball right now. Again, scouts really love his defense and his agility. His ability to stay in front of guys who are smaller than him. And yeah, so with Woodard, I have him, I think, as my 38th best prospect in the draft. So a little bit into the second round. Um, you know, again, there are concerns about his three-point shot because he did... His freshman season, or this season that you're watching right now, he did shoot around 29% from three. And then this year, he took a major jump, and he got close to 43%. So there are concerns about the legitimacy of that shot. Good job turning around right there and cutting off that backdoor cut. And uh, Liberty made the basket, but Woodard showed nice awareness right there. The way he gets onto the floor and really sticks in the NBA, though, is by his defense. I think that's probably going to be his number one uh, NBA skill as he gets to the next level. Because again, there are somewhat, I think there are concerns about his offense and the legitimacy of that three-point shot, as I mentioned earlier. But his freshman season, he came off the bench a lot, was pretty much known as a hustle energy guy, would grab a lot of offensive rebounds, would, you know, hit a lot of putbacks. He only averaged around five points a game his freshman year, but this game he had 13. Kind of a little glimpse of what he was going to offer uh, coming into this season. So he's running the baseline right now. That time misses it. He just made a shot. Nothing really going on there. Again, nice job just kind of being mobile and getting out to the perimeter. And here he is right here on the ball. Good job getting through that screen, even though it wasn't really set. His teammate kind of tripped him up. He was in the wrong position. That wasn't Woodard's fault, as we got a Mississippi State turnover right here. But again, I think he moves his feet well. He has solid defensive footwork. So there are a lot of things to like with him defensively. And I think that, again, that's where he's going to really make his true impact in the NBA, especially on his rookie deal, I'd say. Good job staying attached right there. Off the little curl. And then really nice awareness and help. And Liberty's going to hit that three, but that's not really on Woodard. I like his idea of just cutting off that baseline, or trying to cut off that baseline pass. I mean, he was in the, he was in the right um, on that play to uh, rotate over from the weak side and help out on the drive. Got a... Foul call, I'm not sure which way. It looks like on Liberty. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, that's just... Yeah, here we go. So we're in the corner right now. Isolated out there. It's a good take from Weatherspoon. Same sort of action from Liberty. Having Woodard's man kind of cut across a free throw line. Woodard did a nice job just kind of staying attached. And here he is on the ball. But again, I like how active he is in his stance. And right there, that's a pretty nice contest. Maybe he wanted to get a little bit further out. But again, I do like how his head's always on a swivel. You know, hustles. Let's see if he hits his three. So he missed that one kind of badly too. But remember, he was a 43% three-point shooter this past uh, season. This, is from, this game is from his freshman year where he only shot around 30%. And right there, you saw Woodard, the strength. Good job relocating into the paint. Nice little pass. And he finishes through contact. We'll watch it again here. So we got a nice little behind-the-back pass. And again, finishes through contact. He's a big, strong kid. So nothing really to be surprised about with that finish. And we'll watch his free throw. And so he made that one. But remember, so I mentioned the legitimacy concerns with his three-point shooting. He was only a 64% free throw shooter this past season at Mississippi State. So that's another reason to be a little bit skeptical of the, that uh, three-point mark that he did post this past season. He made that free throw. He has pretty nice touch on the ball, I will say. But, you know, I think there are a little bit more viability concerns than what meets the eye in terms of his uh, overall shot. And so here's Woodard in the corner again. Looks like he's not going to get the ball here. That's a nice pass, though, from Weatherspoon, I think. That's oh, Peterson. Who's... Ah, uh, there's two Weatherspoons and a Peterson. I forgot. I like how he's quick to get into the denial position. Kind of always has that lane in the... Hand in that passing lane. Or at least his body in there. Um, right there, drive came towards his size. Maybe could have um, offered a little bit of a stunt at the ball. Right there, he was on weak side. Nothing really going on in terms of his defense. You see Woodard right there. Just the explosive athleticism that you saw right there. Puts it back with his offhand, uh, left-handed putback. And that was his role this year at Mississippi State. So I think that's going to be his role in the NBA. Just a guy who can crash the boards, bring energy off the bench, and, you know, get the occasional highlight uh, putback dunk, as we saw right there with his left hand. Really nice play from Woodard, just being aware, being alert. And Woodard's moving a little bit around here. Let's see. Gets the DHO. And so right there, you kind of saw the limited creativity off the dribble. He's not really known as a guy who can break people down off the dribble. Pretty clunky ball handler overall. Um, doesn't really have the offensive mobility to really beat guys off the dribble with the ball in his hands. He's much better moving without the ball. And um, so, yeah, just limited drive and kick potential, limited driving potential in general. So... Again, I don't really see him as a first-round guy, just more of a second-round energy forward. We saw right there, he averaged this past season around two turnovers a game compared to one-and-a-half assists per game. So obviously you have that negative assist-to-turnover ratio, which a lot of these college guys seem to have. And so he really hasn't really shown a whole lot of ability as a playmaker. Or a driver.
So again, right there, really nice job staying attached through that screen. Again, he's a pretty strong kid, especially if you look at his lower body too. It's just, it's very, uh, he, it's, he's very filled out, you know? So again, I do think, you know, with a little bit uh, more strength being added, but I think he has a frame to add more strength, but he can really just become one of those guys who can bruise down low, maybe play a small ball four. And we all know how valuable that is in today's NBA. And again, if that three-point shooting is legit, I tend to not really buy it. But if it is legit, then he just becomes a, I would say he's probably a first-round prospect in my opinion. But right now, I just have too many concerns about the shooting and just the overall offensive playmaking ability. And again, right here, ran the lane pretty well. Nice Euro step finish. That was really nice. Well done. Showed the gracefulness. Uh, right there. That's not really a huge part of his game, but that was a nice finish and transition. Again, ran the lane extremely well, too. Knew exactly where to be. And that was just a really nice play. I believe uh, Woodard's out for a little bit right here, so I will skip ahead to when he comes back in. We got 26-30. So I'll skip ahead here. So we got the final 3.43 left of the first half. Then Woodard's out. Right there, nice little basket cut from Woodard off the inbound. Probably could have gotten the ball there. Tweeting help side again. Nice job just staying attached right there. A little bit slow, but again, good job just kind of having the understood switch with his teammate. That's a really tough shot from Liberty. That's Caleb Holmesley, yeah. And there's Peters again. So again, uh, Woodard's on Holmesley right now. I think Holmesley ended up having 30 points in this game. Liberty won this, remember. And, uh, you know, Woodard, I think, was on Holmesley a little bit more in the second half than he was in the first half. So we'll see the game develop as he's guarding Liberty's best player. Right there, probably got sucked into help a little bit too much, led to the open three. Yeah, he was just too, he was in too deep at that stage. I would have stayed with the corner shooter. It's a little bit more just so we could have a little bit better of a chance at con of giving a legitimate contest. So again, Woodard's kind of chasing, uh, I think that's Holmesley all around the screen. So a nice job just kind of staying with him, like kind of playing a little cat and mouse. And again, look at how attached he stayed onto Holmesley off that screen. A lot of times Holmesley would take that and shoot it off the dribble, but Woodard really kind of cut that cut that off on that possession. That's a really well done. That's a really nice job from uh, Woodard just staying attached to that screen and not really giving uh, Holmesley any room to breathe there. You got a timeout for Liberty, so I'll skip ahead here a little bit. So words on the weak side block. Final 30 seconds of the first half.
So again, I like how on every single drive Mississippi State uh, produces. Woodard's almost trailing and stalking the play, waiting for a putback opportunity or an offensive rebound opportunity. I mean, I do think he, I think he has pretty good overall instincts, and so I think that's a good use of his skill. And I, I'm not sure with NBA spacing how frequent he'll be able to do that, but I do think it could be a legit, uh, a legit thing. We got a timeout for Liberty, but Woodard was on the floor. Skip ahead here. We got yeah. But he does seem to have a nose for the ball um, in 50-50 ball situations, offensive rebound situations. Right there, he got tripped up by Scotty James. Again, here he is on Holmesley. Again, look at how well he stayed with him on that play. Really, and what was a little bit uh, tangled up with his feet, but still had the agility and just the length to just kind of stay with him right up until the shot release. So I really like that final play from Woodard. And with that, I will end the first half video, and I will see you for the second half. Um, he plays the majority of the second half. I think 69 out of the 20 minutes will play. So uh, stay tuned for that, and we will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.